Tonight we are hearing from the grieving family of a college student here in the East who officials believe was murdered. The body of Elizabeth City State University student Amaria Smith was believed to be found by State Bureau of Investigation in Chawan County recently. And on Thursday, 29 year old Jordan Thomas was arrested and charged in Smith's murder, but her family still wants answers. This evening I spoke with Smith's loved ones as they try to pick up the pieces. For Omaria Smith's family, getting through life without her is something they never would have imagined. Learn from this mistake. Any parents that's listening, wrap your hand around your child because once they're gone, you can't wrap your arms around them no more. He didn't, he didn't have to kill her. I don't know why he killed her. The State Bureau of Investigation say they believe Smith was recently murdered by 29-year-old Jordan Thomas of Edenton in Chowan County. And on Wednesday night, Smith's parents, LaWayne and Turkisha Odom, say they opened their front door to hear that their daughter's remains were believed to be found. We didn't just lose her to death. Somebody stole her from us. This grown man praying on young girls. My child fell victim because she probably was the weaker one. Smith's parents say their daughter knew Thomas because she often went to his tattoo shop near Elizabeth City State University where she was a sophomore. On Thursday, Thomas was arrested and charged in Beaufort County for concealing the death of a person. If he can see this and to his family, you raised the monster. A murder warrant was obtained for Thomas in Chowan County, but Smith's mother says she isn't even sure what day her daughter was killed. I don't even know when my baby died. I don't even know when he killed her exactly. Smith's father says his daughter isn't the only young girl Thomas has harmed. He hurt another young lady that we just found out three years ago. He shot another young lady and he let him walk away free. And I'm beating myself up because if they had to do something then, my daughter wouldn't be, she'll be here with me now. Smith was majoring in elementary education at ECSU, and her sister Elena says that desire for teaching started at Nash Central High School, where she was the 2022 class president. And I couldn't wait to see her walk across the stage. And she was always talking about her classes, her early childhood classes. And she was like, Elena, I'm going to really be a teacher. Thomas now sits behind bars, which is where Smith's parents hope he remains as they seek justice. She was a vulnerable young lady, you know, learning what life was about, you know. So for somebody just to take her from us. Smith's family says Amaria still hasn't been positively identified. Thomas is currently in the Beaufort County Jail on a $550,000 cash bond.